Dear friends, we are gathered together today to demand an end to the massacre that's going on in Gaza as we speak here. Countless families are being obliterated. Millions of Palestinians in Gaza are today exposed to horrible violence, attacks, murder, mayhem, their properties are being destroyed, their freedom is being taken away, their right to self-governance and sovereignty is under challenge, and we as Canadians can't stay silent while this is happening. I am outraged, I'm outraged as a concerned Canadian, as a proud Canadian, Canadian who is proud of the traditions with respect to Canada's international policies in the past. Canada has stood for peace. Canada has stood for justice. Canada has stood for reconciliation and negotiation in the past. Today's government is silent while this massacre, this mass destruction is going on in Gaza and in Palestine in general. Why is it that Harper government is silent? Why is it that we as Canadians are not demanding with one voice that Canada speak out? Speak out against the massacre. Can speak out against the act of genocidal war. So let's join together. Let's join together as Canadians, as one people. It's not a question of whether we are Muslims, whether we are Christians, whether we are Jews, whether we are Hindus. We are all one. We are here to defend and protect human dignity. The right of human beings to freedom. Right of human beings to live in peace. Life of human beings to raise families in peace. Children who can live in peace and go to school tomorrow. Right now in Gaza, schools are being bombed out of existence. Mosques are being attacked. Peaceful people are being destroyed, and it cannot be allowed to happen. I have in my hands a article by Professor Elan Papp, a Israeli scholar who is now the chair of the Department of History at the University of Exeter in Britain. And I ask you to look at this article. It's in the electronic intifada. That's when it's published on January 2nd, just two days ago. He's calling on all of us to educate ourselves about the real problem in the Middle East, in the Palestine. It's the occupation of Palestine that's at the very root of the problems that you see there now. The demonization of Hamas will not will not solve the problem. Today it's Hamas being, that's being demonized. Yesterday it was Fatah uh, and Yasser Arafat that have been demonized. Demonization of Palestinians is something that we must condemn. We must recognize the humanity in all of us and we must fight for justice and for peace on the further restoration of sovereignty and freedom for Palestinians and their lands. Thank you.